Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to make this video to tell you guys about all the amazing reasons why I love ARC. I've been investing in ARC since the ICO and made lots of videos to promote this project since five months ago when the price was at five cents and now ARC is in the top 20 on CoinMarketCap. To start explaining ARC, we take ourselves back a little bit to a time when things were just starting. We're in a cryptocurrency world where there's a big boom about to occur. Most people can see it on the horizon as developers and business enthusiasts look to use Ethereum's up and coming platform to develop their own blockchain ideas. Now, explaining a blockchain to the average person is no easy feat. And one thing that really helps explain the concept is the idea of distributing a ledger all over the globe thanks to those running the blockchain network. Of course, the great thing about this is that it removes the main point of failure for a database, which is the centralized nature of it. The issue though, much like a database, is that every company, every project, every business wants their own blockchain, much like how there's never going to be one database. In the 21st century, it would be nice if companies and projects could at least have the option to communicate with each other, right? This is where the smart bridge system in ARC kicks in. The premise is rather simple. We take the apps produced on the blockchain and we give them more functionality. We allow them to be utilized outside of the bounds of their own blockchain. To do this, ARC has vendor fields and encoder listener nodes which search through the data to find tasks that they can then perform and once a blockchain connects to ARC's system, either via a code snippet or encoded listener, they are set up and connected to the ARC smart bridge system. This is where the fun begins. Imagine executing an Ethereum smart contract through another blockchain. ARC is always listening for code execution via the smart bridge system. The power is in our hands to execute any instruction to any blockchain provided it is connected to the system. We're no longer bound to the realms of silo blockchains. ACES. ACES just got released and with it, the power of Ethereum contracts will be in the hands of SmartBridge. This means deploying a smart contract to the Ethereum network can be done via ARC's wallet, which has the benefit of reducing bloat on the ARC system while connecting Ethereum and ARC together. DPoS. DPoS is a system in ARC which stands for Delegated Proof of Stake. It's a model that improves on the usual POS system by having delegates forge the blocks instead of the entire network. For ARC, there are 51 delegates who forge the blocks and holders of ARC can then allocate their coins to a delegate of their choice via the wallet. These delegates have various payment plans which share the rewards that are given to the delegate upon forging the blocks. Most delegates pay out on a daily or weekly basis, and therefore it's a great way to make a bit of extra ARC from your holdings. As it currently stands, about 90% of all ARC is staked through the system, which is a good indicator there are lots of long-term holders in the project, and helps to improve the stability of the prices, since holders have a reason to keep their ARC and not sell, as then they miss out on the staking payments. Staking costs one ARC to vote and unvote, and it is necessary to keep the wallet open. Therefore, you are always making passive income just by voting for a delegate. DPoS also relies on relay nodes, which, while are not forging, help to add extra security to the network. Anyone can become a delegate or relay node by following instructions found on the ARC website. The Roadmap it would honestly take me far too long to explain all the features of ARC, so their roadmap is a very good visit if you want to know more. Other features that I am looking forward to are one-click blockchains, which will allow users to clone the blockchain in a click of a button to start their own project, as well as NFC RFID readers and ARC smart cards. Mobile wallets will also be released very soon. The Community 
The art community is pretty amazing. The Slack is buzzing with chatter and talks and there is very open communication about other projects. In fact, the art team hosts AMAs in the Slack on a weekly basis. It's certainly agnostic and the community recognizes the importance of many projects working together to improve the industry. I highly recommend checking out the Slack if you get the chance and the Reddit is also following a similar suit with even more activity than ever. All the links are in the description. If you want to learn more about ARC, just come join us now at ARC.io. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.